The Pacers have reached the back stretch. And they are underway. Far outside, Girl Dad stepping out towards the inside, full support away, as long as well as Joe Mickey or so fine comes out with a burst. And he takes the lead from the center of the track, going to make it to the pylons. He's clear by three and a half lengths early. Full support well back in second. Girl Dad looks for a spot third with Motley Ray going past him. Two back to fifth and Poseidon Deo, then Tennessee Strong, Hungry Man, and the trailer Southwind Patron. They rumble around the turn of the quarter in a quick 26 and 2. That's Joe Mickey or so fine cutting out the mile and cutting it quickly here by a length and a quarter as the 1 to 2 favorite. Loose pocket seat for full support. Single file they roll. Motley Ray making just his second career start, his third four back. Two more to Girl Dad in fourth. Nobody on the outside at the moment. Poseidon Deo fifth, followed by Tennessee Strong, then Hungry Man, and Southwind Patron remains the trailer. So nobody making the move just yet on the leader. Joe Mickey or so fine hits the half. 54 and 4, 28 and 2 second panel, even with no outside pressure, keeps the fractions rapid here. Joe Mickey or so fine by a length over full support. And it looks like Matt Kikaley wants to go right now with full support, pulls the pocket. It's two back on the outside to Girl Dad making a move. Inside some room to move up there for Motley Ray. Third over fifth, Poseidon Dale back at the pylon. Sixth now is uh, that uh, Hungry Man and uh, further back to Tennessee Strong Southwind Patron. Three quarters, 122 even, 27 and one third panel tied up front as Joe Mickey or so fine tries to fend off the charge of full support. Three back on the outside is Girl Dad. A late move out wide by Poseidon Deo inside Motley Ray. Top of the stretch, Joe Mickey or so has pushed the lead back to two now as full support never could could get past and is fading the late kick on the outside uh, by uh, Poseidon Dale but it's Joe Mickey or so fine strong up front wins by two and a half lengths full support second photo third between girl dad and Poseidon Dale Joe Mickey or so fine 150 and two Joe Mickey or so fine bet down to two one to two favorite and he delivers on that promise. Simon Alar just sending him and uh, full support took his best shot at him, pulled the pocket on the back stretch, tried to wear him down. And when they got to the top of the stretch, Joe Mickey or so fine just shrugged him off and picks up the victory here in race 13. Judges have posted the unofficial order to finish race 13. Number four, Joe Mickey or so fine, finished first. Number three, full support, finished second. Number five, Poseidon Deo, finished third. Number eight, Girl Dad, finished fourth. Unofficially, 4358, race 13. Heading back to the Hanover Shoe Farms winner's circle. Unofficial winner, number four, Joe Mickey or so fine. Three year old Bay Gelding by Always Be Mickey out of a mock around the clock by Mach 3. Bred by Burnhamwood Farms of Florida, owned by Anthony Ruggieri, Marnack, New York, Richard Tozies of Hamilton, New Jersey. Chris Choate, the trainer, Simon Allard, the driver, Joe Mickey or so fine, one to two betting favorite. Uh, nothing but uh, either series or stakes races this year. Picks up his second win in six this year. His other one came in his very first start of the year back on April 8th. His fourth lifetime win and a new lifetime mark, 150 and two for four. Joe Mickey or so fine. 